darling. What's going on, little birdies? Come on in the nest, bitch. Okay, from the east and to the west, all birdies come on in to the royal nest where it's always posh, royal, and lit, lit. What's going on, OG birdies, A1 day ones? Welcome back home, bitch. Get comfortable. Get cozy. <laughs> okay, get cozy. And if you are a new subby, a new little birdie to the nest, Welcome in, boo. Get comfortable. Kick back. Take off your shoes, child. Stay a while. Get comfortable. You're home now, okay? You're in the nest where it's always cute and royal and very plush, okay? Very, very much so creme de la creme over here, darling, as you can clearly see, okay? Land of the milk and honey. <laughs> Y'all, and if maybe you are a little birdie that's just flying on by, you see that fire? You're like, what the hell going on in there? Just popping in a little peekaboo birdie. Welcome, welcome to you too, darling, okay? Thank you for coming on by and stopping in. Gratitude. And of course, if you vibe with the tribe, just go ahead and subscribe. Share with somebody, comment, drop down below, keep it cute. And of course, as I mentioned before, birds of a feather, they flock together. So again, just get very, very comfortable. Um, Y'all, I dreamt of Queen Elizabeth on the 21st of February. Yes, darling, get comfortable, child. Get a little beverage as we chit chat because I'm a cleanse while y'all do that. But yeah, child, I dreamt of her. She came to me in spirit and oh, she was very youthful, very poised, graceful. Like her energy was definitely stern. <laughs> but um, I remember she was so chill and she was so down to earth and she and I were discussing interior decor. Like we were discussing like revamping rooms with new decor, like window treatments and color and textures. And I was like, wow, like she was even like, Compliment little things that I had in my place. And I was just like, what? This is so wild. Like, I'm dreaming of Queen Elizabeth right now. Like, this is so wild. I don't even know what's going on, child. Things that happen in my subconscious mind while I'm dream walking, child. Who even knows? But, Lord, that's what happened. I don't know what happened, but for whatever re reason, I remember when I woke up, I wrote it in my dream journal because I have one of those. And if you don't write down your dream, you start doing that because I remembered that. And I was, I'm a firm believer if you have a dream, and you remember what happened in your dream, it's not a dream, it's a message, okay? Like, spirit wants you to know a message, even if it's wild or it's fucking crazy, because I remember I had that dream, and I was like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm writing it in my journal. I remember I literally had a dream that Queen Elizabeth was in here, and we were just sipping tea and just discussing all things, like decor and, like, spring, summer, and, like, things for the hot... Like, we were really, really just, like, chit-chatting about so much, and she had just had so much expertise, and little tips and tricks and I was like okay you know like the queen came through because when the queen touched down everything shuts down okay bitch and it was like that <laughs> like everything stops for real but yeah that was the vibe from Queen Elizabeth and then it was like yo when I was kind of going through my community board and I was just checking on the updates to kind of see what I had coming down the pipeline for you guys, I was like, let me see what's going on. Cool, we got lots of really good royalty and crumpets coming up, okay? So things are coming down the pipeline, girl. But yeah, I saw that I had that dream about Queen Elizabeth and I was like, interior design and, design and decor. Like we were talking about that. And I was like, Megan, yes. Like Duchess of Sussex, yes. I was like, didn't she just launch something about like interior design and she was like in her home, like in her promo video like launching something or something like that, that American Riviera or something, Orchard or Orchard or something. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, child. I probably just butchered that, but you get the point. Her new endeavor, darling, okay? Like, I was just like, thank you, spirit. Like, that's why me and Queen Elizabeth was talking about that. Like, maybe she was telling me in the, in a, the future that was coming down the line for um, Megan as, um, you know, uh, a project or something, but she definitely approved. Like she was definitely, you know, happy and delightful and child. She is just that girl. As I say that resilience at the bottom of the deck. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and again, usher in the divine energy of Queen Elizabeth II, our Royal Highness. Okay. Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth. Tapping in, Queen Elizabeth, show us what's going on. Messages from heaven. Messages from your heavenly throne. Queen Elizabeth II. What do you want us to know, Queen Elizabeth? Speak spirit. Oh, look at that. Happiness. 
She is definitely resting and she is happy. Mm, yes, passion at the bottom of the day. This is what she lived for. She has literally transitioned over and her heart is happy because she's with the people who she loves. Mm, I'm here. Margot, Margaret. I'm not sure if you call her Matt. I'm not, does she go by Maggie or Margot? I don't know why I just heard that. But um, I've, I'm getting sisterly bond. Like she has like her, her trusted friend by her side. So she's happy because she's with the people who she love and the people who she care about in the spiritual realm. Mm hmm. In a sense. And she's also watching her grandbabies and her great grandbabies. OK, like a hawk. <laughs> like, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. The innocent babies. Wow. All right. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth. What else? Tell us more messages from the grave. Messages from your royal throne. Queen Elizabeth. AKA Lilibet, the OG Lilibet. Okay. Queen Elizabeth. Next card. Oh, thank you, spirit family. Didn't I tell you? When I tell you this is a progress report coming from Her Majesty herself, Queen Elizabeth II, darling. Baby, her family is on her mind and on her heart. Very, very heavy. She is watching them. And I feel like it's with heaviness. Absolutely. Sorrow at the bottom of the deck. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Mm, thank you, Her Majesty. Her heart is happy because obviously she's with Prince Philip. Margaret, her parents, you know, I'm hearing childhood friends, colleagues, people who have transitioned, who know her and respect her, you know, obviously in the, the physical realm and also in the spiritual realm, you know, I'm getting that. So her heart is happy because she's with people who she loved, but her heart is very heavy watching the crown, darling, the monarchy, King Charles the third, and also, you know, his boys, Harry and William is what I'm getting as far. She's looking at the male, the, I'm hearing the men. The men in the family and the children. The men and the children. I wonder how she feels about the women. Mm, freedom. Rotted. I'm definitely feeling well. We know um Megan, Duchess of Sussex, she got out, but I really feel like Catherine may want to um step down or uh, maybe uh, how she's giving it to me. It's not that she wants to quit the family because obviously, you know, her son, her children, you know, obviously here to the throne. Prince George. Okay, darling. So make no mistake about it. You know, Catherine is definitely here. She's definitely, I'm hearing Diana 2.0. Like she's here. Like she's not trying to like be done with the royal family. She'll, she'll still want to do her, you know, projects, her um, things that she and William are very passionate about. I, again, I don't feel like she's not cooperating, but I do feel like she wants to possibly step down if the marriage is not making Catherine happy is what I'm getting. But yeah, the family child is in shambles is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth duties okay like period okay yes thank you tell me more queen elizabeth tell me more your majesty tapping in messages from the grave messages from the royal throne and heaven see this up 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 attachment to that crown when i tell you baby queen elizabeth said listen the portal Mm-hmm. There may be something that Catherine is going through. Feeling that very strong. I keep, when I'm hearing portal, it's something about someone wanting to go through a portal or get through, out of a portal or it's something about that. I'm hearing going through a portal or something. It's just something with uh, it's child sprinkle allegedly all over this child, allegedly, because I do not want the royal smoke, okay? Just keep it cute in the comments. <laughs> That's all I ask. Child, I'm just a little birdie, okay? Giving you the tease, darling. Yeah, freedom, as I said. That. I told you. Something about a portal and getting free or getting out. Running towards the sun or to the moon or to the light. Like getting out of um, the crown. Mm-hmm. Definitely getting that. I want to pull some more messages from Queen Elizabeth. I thought she wants to tell me more from the grave. Thank you, spirit. Mm, spirit of the true and living God. Queen Elizabeth. Ooh. That kind of fell on the floor, but I think that says, oh, I can't tell. I can see the anchor. So I feel like something is not anchored into the um, monarchy right now. What's going on? Mm, eternity. Look at that. The crown is forever. 
Yeah, Guardian. I'm telling you, she's watching. She's still watching over that crown from heaven, y'all. Even though she's transitioned, there's still some things that they're... I think she's just worried about all the work that she's put in to this just probably going to shit. Mm, my God, eternal love. She's with her prince... Oh, Prince Philip. Mm-hmm. Even in death, you know, their love is still very, very strong. Her heart still beats for him. Yeah, so she's happy. I feel like that's... Oop, a little chaotic there. But yeah, I feel like that's what's going on. Like, she's feeling good. Wait, I see wisdom coming from the deck and um, curiosity. Child, I feel like, she, okay, of course, her wisdom is what they're um, lacking, is what I feel like. Wisdom. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Mm -mm -mm. Never forgotten. Of course not. We can never forget Her Majesty. This is poking up purpose. Look at that. Telling you all, when I see these symbols, it's bigger, again, it's bigger than King Charles III. It's bigger than Prince William. This is monarchy. This shit is bigger than Queen Elizabeth. This is, this is, how long has this has the monarchy been around? Like, has it been like over a thousand years? Somebody G check or fact check me on that down in the comments below. But I'm definitely getting that. Some breakthrough is going to come forward. Some truth is coming to the light. She misses her great grandbabies and her grandbabies, her children. Oh my God. Mm. Karen Ann. Mm -hmm. Yeah, child, but that's what that is going on as far as messages from the throne. Okay, darling, we're going to tap and see what else is going on just to see if there are any messages. Yeah, she wants to talk from this deck. I'm feeling this one. Okay, so, okay. Split guilt and friendship. There must be a lot of royal friendships and ties. Tell me what you want us to know. Ooh, growth. Look at that. Mm. Spiritual growth. Friendship, yeah. The crown, connections, partnerships, charities is what I'm hearing. Failure is what I see here. Can someone tell me how, um, I'm not, this is probably a UK Burry question out there because I'm not sure how the public is really receiving them out there, but I really feel like Queen Elizabeth um, is definitely feeling like the monarchy is looking like a laughing stock is kind of what I'm getting. Happiness at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, when I say laughing stock, happiness, haha, but also she is happy. Again, I was like two times I saw happiness with her. I'm hearing it as well in my soul, that gospel song is channeling through. Yeah, she's definitely feeling like what's going on right now, though. This, these, these fake bot photos, it's, it's giving that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, relationships. I'm trying to tell you, she knows the marriages, the connections. Catherine William, she's just, I feel like she's rolling her eyes. Like, I'm just seeing her roll her eyes like, oh my God, tell me more, your royal highness, your majesty. Oh, messages from the throne. So, some more. Mm hmm. Loneliness. Yeah, spirit of loneliness. That's very, very strong in this family. Blame is at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Who's to take the fucking blame here? Who's wrong? Is it Prince William, darling? But just, you know, playing his role. I mean, all he's doing is do doing what he do. He's just being, you know, king and waiting, darling. Okay, like he's just doing what he's always done. Or is it Prince Harry for protecting his family and fleeing the fucking country to be safe? I don't know, child, but it's giving that. But you know, I'm, 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 I'm seeing them like in childhood form. They're soulmates. I'm hearing that from um, Queen Elizabeth. Like they're not gonna stay away from each other for too long. So I'm hearing mm, that there's some doubt there. Someone, someone has some doubt. Discipline. They're lacking duties. Is I'm trying to tell you. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth. Like what you raised them better than that is what I'm hearing. She did better, y'all. Child, y'all saw here first death at the bottom of the deck. When I tell you, even in her grave, y'all. Queen Elizabeth is like, they listen, discipline, growth, progress. What's going on? This is a progress report from the grave, okay? And she is not satisfied. Failure. It's giving F, okay? It's giving that. 
a mo like a, just just the mocking, like the mockery. Oh my gosh, she hot, y'all. Mm-hmm. Honesty. She that's her truth. She's like, this is this is unacceptable. This is not even how we get down. This is not the games that we play. Like, what? Oop, this is jumping up, Queen Elizabeth. Balance. Okay, balance some scales. Okay. Balance them damn scales. Bottom of the deck, purpose, but it's in reverse. Is King Charles really ready for this shit, y'all? What do y'all think? Self-esteem. His, I feel like his self-esteem has plummeted. Let's keep him lifted in prayer, you guys, because he's dealing with cancer and, you know, treatment. And it can be very hard. Self-esteem, how he's looking, how he's feeling, how he's aging. Let's just try to give him grace. I know he's not our favorite. I know. Okay, some people are like, no, he's not our king. Okay, but we have to respect, okay, the throne, darling. Okay, and he is our king. So we just need to make sure that we are keeping him lifted in prayer again. Because, y'all, it's, it's, that's that, man. They going through some shit. They are um, royalty, but they're not, you know, exempt. <laughs> God is, you know, not, he's God of everyone. So ain't nobody safe out here in these streets. But we're just going to go ahead and tap in, into the tarot and see what's going on. I'm going to see what the vibe is, how she feels about um, Catherine, Princess of Wales. As I split the deck, I see Page of Swords and Ace of Wands. So automatically I feel like there's a lot of gossip in regards to Catherine. This is not the kind of publicity and attention she wants for Catherine is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm, darling, you know what? Princess, you know, sorry, not princess, shall. But um, Queen Elizabeth, we just gonna get some fragrance. You know, this child, she royalty child. She like nice things. So we're just gonna put some fragrance on these cards as the fire is kind of dimming down. Let's see what the vibes are in connection to Catherine, Princess of Wales. Queen Elizabeth, tell us how you feel. Show us how you feel in regards to Catherine, Princess of Wales. Mm. Yes. Mm. Hanged man. <laughs> Hanged man. I really feel like she's a bit disappointed. Yeah, with the page of wands and at the bottom of the deck, I feel like uh, Queen Elizabeth is feeling a little bit disappointed in Catherine. Yeah, six of cups. The hard work she's put in, you know, the good times. Like Lily watching her like come in as a babe is kind of what I'm getting, like a young, fair, like, you know, maiden woman and becoming a mom, becoming a queen and just now she, everything is just so stagnant. I don't think she's feeling too confident now about her, but you know, she's, she's healing, you know, but she's understanding that right now she's healing. Mm, let's see this kind of jumping up. Ooh, wow. The tower. Mm. A lot of higher arcanas coming out with Queen Elizabeth and en energy man. Like, should I tell you she don't fuck around? Like very stern. Her energy is very, very stern. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth. I'm just really feeling like, again, this is trouble in paradise regarding the throne, the crown, the marriage to William, the children. She's really worried about the children. Yeah. Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. She knows that she's working very hard, but she's just like, I'm hearing um, Catherine might be fragile. Like she comes, across, she comes across very stoic, but I feel like she's probably a little bit fragile right now. Mm. Again, keep them lifted and pray, child. Last card connected to Catherine, Princess of Wales. Mm hmm. Ooh, child, that was a whole lot of mess. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, there we go. Magician again. Child, let me tell you. Tricky, tricky, tricky is what I'm hearing. Here we go. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Mmm. She feels like right now Catherine is in her in her emotions. Like she's just really, really again, she's just really, really fragile right now. I feel like maybe her body's maybe going through some changes, but the energy that I'm getting is um yeah. 
Queen Elizabeth want them to pull their shit together because this is a this is a disgrace. Like I'm <laughs> like these are all life lessons here. If y'all don't clean up this fucking mess, I'm trying to tell you, baby, of the queen child she's giving me diana yeah the empress thank you spirit thank you queen elizabeth mother of all mothers darling okay the empress come through yeah hell yeah taurus energy that's what i'm talking about tell me more queen elizabeth Mm-mm-mm hearing weak like a child when I was their age she's like you know when I was just their age I just had more you know understanding oh yeah happy time she misses engagements getting dolled up wearing her crown jewels darling okay I see the good times I see, yeah when she was her yeah her youthful years is what I'm getting <laughs> I'm seeing images her images of her in the 60s and 70s yeah I'm seeing a lot Mm-hmm. King of Cups, her son, Scorpio. King Charles the third, darling. Yeah. She's definitely worried about him. I'm hearing only a mother's love. He misses his mom. They're, they're, yeah. Only a mother's love is what I'm hearing. Yeah, chariot at the bottom of the deck. Cancer energy. Queen consort Camilla. Okay, like, but I'm hearing only a mother's love. So I, ooh, five of swords, this can't be good. This can't be good in regards to <sighs> King Charles. Wow, any of the messages, Queen Elizabeth, just tell us what you think and just tell us, just tell us. I'm just so grateful to just be in your presence. We know your schedule is oh so busy, child. You are a queen that has so many engagements, So we just want some more messages. Last card. Yeah, she's not satisfied, you guys. Four of Cups. This is the same energy from um, Princess Diana. She and Princess Diana are in allegiance with this shit. This? What's going on in the kingdom? Yeah. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Queen Elizabeth is not with the shits at all. Like, at all. Wow. Yeah. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. Nine of Pentacles. Everything she's worked so very hard for, this, the legacy, what she has passed down to her boy, to her son, and the world is laughing at her and she is not happy at all. Mm. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth. Ciao. Woo. Ciao, let me tell you. She, mm-mm. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth, she ain't with it at all. Let me see what's going on with Megan really quickly before I get some more additional messages from the Onyx deck and we read between the lines because, child, I'm just trying to figure out her position on that because I know we give, you know, Megan a lot of shit. She gets it, you know? But right now, Catherine's getting her fair share too. So, you know, I'm really feeling like the energy that I'm hearing from her is that it's competition and it's jealousy between the girls okay the um duchess of sussex it's, it's like team megan team catherine or team kate whatever team you're on team cambridge team sussex whatever whatever but it's definitely giving me that mm -hmm. the girls the girls are just being catty okay the girls are tussling battle of the crown okay darling justice as i separate and chop and split the deck four of pentacles and also Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. Megan, the outcast. Let's see what's going on, Megan. Show me what you feel about Megan, Markle, Queen Elizabeth, Your Majesty. Messages from the grave. Messages from the royal throne. How do you feel about Megan, Duchess of Sussex, Queen Elizabeth? Show me. How do you feel? First card is the strongest. Wow. King of Swords. I would say that's a hell yeah. They, she approves. Oh, definitely. Six of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like she definitely approves of Meghan Markle. Childlike heart. I feel like she she admires um Meghan's heart. Mm. But also her, yeah, magician, but also her ability to be a sharp thinker. 
you know, like head over heart, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth. What other messages connected to Meghan Markle? Oh, I see the tower. Mm -hmm. Some more drama coming down the pipeline. What else going on with Meg? Okay. Queen Elizabeth II, Your Majesty. Messages from the throne. In heaven. Messages from heaven. Meghan Markle. Meghan, that's just a success. The Ace of Cups. I thought she's fond of her, you guys. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. She likes her. I feel like when um, the energy that I'm getting from um, her uh, is um, it's like the like modernizing the monarchy because the monarchy is going to look different in the future is what I'm kind of getting. It's kind of like how we saw the first black president in the U.S. It's like we have to be mindful that the world is just not like one race. Like we're the human race. Okay, darling, like. We are all here. We're all here to coexist. And it doesn't matter what we look like, where we come from. We all have our shit, okay? No one's perfect. And I feel like that's what she admires about um, Megan. She's like, I'm hearing like a high roller. Like she, she, she takes risk. At the bottom of the deck, I see the devil in the reverse. Capricorn energy, okay? Catherine. But yeah, I'm really feeling like with this energy at the bottom of the deck, you know, it's like that toxic energy, like kind of breaking away from, again, uh the lifestyle maybe the royal lifestyle mm. yeah seven of swords treachery mm. show us yes there's some treachery that's going on in regards to megan or maybe it's catherine with the capricorn something's going yeah show us some more clarify that because i want to know it, oop, oop, so much going on. World in the reverse, I see flipping up. Chow, some cards fell in my lap. Let me just do that over. Clarify that for me, Queen Elizabeth. Can you show us more about Meghan Markle? Who is the snake in the camp? Hmm. Ooh, Chow the Emperor. Okay, Aries energy. Hmm. Again, the throne, authority. Yeah, me oh, there we go. Strength at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Leo. I feel like maybe she felt like she was going against the authority. Maybe she got out of the, yeah. Five of Wands, conflict. There was some conflict with Meghan Markle. Like, maybe she came in, like, being all about the family and, and trying to, like, work and do things that were like that she was doing that I feel like it, it just it got catty like it just got really nasty is what I'm getting okay UK birdies y'all gotta do check me on that because I'm like I don't know if that's oh yeah what well, I'm getting the um whatever that big quarrel was about with her wedding yeah I think that was probably a little more um heated than we um heard <laughs> like which, whatever she said on the Oprah interview yeah, that's a thing. I think the Oprah interview for the queen was the treachery, was the treachery for her. Because you know the whole thing, never complain, never explain, never explain, never complain, whatever. That was it for um, Queen Elizabeth for her, yeah. Megan, the Leo at the bottom of the deck, yeah. Kind of felt like once things probably didn't go Megan's way is when that's when the rebel happened. And it, things just got nasty is what I'm hearing. Yeah, Six of Swords, her getting away. It's a sailing way to calm water. She left. Yeah. Her and Ma her and uh, Prince Harry, they left. Six of Swords. They left the throne. They left um, the crown, is what Queen Elizabeth is definitely saying. One last card connected to Meghan Markle. Chow, y'all hearing it from Queen Elizabeth II, her damn self, chow. She like, chow, listen. This is what I feel. Mm. Ciao. Queen Elizabeth. One last card connected to Meghan Markle. Thank you. This one is Ten of Pentacles. So maybe there's hope. Yeah, magician at the bottom of the deck. If they can, again, work it out, talk it out. Because I'm really hearing that, you know, um, again, it was some tussling going on. There's some energy. There's some silent beef. There's some, there's some shit going on with those girls. I can tell you that. Based on that information, that dream that I had, yeah, again, that Seven of Swords energy, 
That fucking treachery, bitch. I don't do sevens, bitch. One thing I don't fucking do is sevens. Especially the swords, bitch. Okay? Yeah. There's definitely some treachery. The cards don't lie, bitch. I'm sorry. Like, I'm here. I'm unbiased. I'm not team Meg. I'm not team Catherine, but I'm definitely seeing within Megan's energy is giving treachery, bitch. Okay? I'm just telling you. It's giving that. It's giving. You don't know, I'm not telling the left hand what the right hand's doing. Um, it's definitely giving that. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and read between the lines, y'all. Let's go ahead and read between the lines. I feel like I'm giving a progress report for the royals from like the throne, but I feel like Queen Elizabeth got so much to say. It's like, darling. And we miss her royal highness, y'all. But thank y'all for sticking around this long. Let's see if there's any additional messages from the Onyx deck. Mm-hmm. Sex. So maybe there may be some sex scandal or something that may be leaking or coming soon, out soon regarding a royal. It doesn't have to be Prince William, but um, it may be an alleged affair or something. But someone has to be accountable for something is what I'm getting from her as well. Mm-hmm. Sex. Oh, boy. Toxicity. Sex. Mm, okay. Definitely giving affair or something. Or something about an affair might leak. Tell me more. No. I'm telling you, she does not approve of this shit. She does not approve of this shit. The bottom of the deck, I see promotion. Nobody gets a damn promotion, okay? Nobody ain't getting no goddamn raise. It's Kensington Palace, y'all fucking up, okay? The queen, darling, says no, okay? No promotion for y'all. <laughs> ain't nobody getting a damn Christmas bonus. <laughs> and it's not even the holidays. Like, this is insane. 2024, child, I'm trying to tell y'all, career. Yes, Queen Elizabeth, duties, okay? Like, come through. This is a career report. This is the review, bitch, okay? Because, darling, Queen Elizabeth is not satisfied. <laughs> oh, she's not fucking satisfied. Bottom of the deck, we have level up, okay? It is time for them to literally put on their big boy drawers on. Ladies, put on your big girl panties, okay? We're not wearing training bar bras anymore duties okay level up boss up like it's giving that child protection she harry needs to up his protection is what i'm hearing she wants him to be careful mm, he needs to come go back home okay all right that's what you're saying queen elizabeth friends his friends miss him mm-hmm yeah level up yeah they gotta level up man <laughs> like that is from the throne that is from yes the matriarch child the matriarch is saying that y'all need to level up, child. This is a game of chess. This is, you cannot play chess with your emotions. I'm um, didn't I tell y'all? Shh. Never explain, never complain. Duties. Come through. <laughs> Come through, Queen Elizabeth. Yes. Yes, darling. Dance. Wherever she is right now, she is definitely dancing and having a good time, especially with her sissy. Okay? Like they're having a good time. They're doing all the shits, okay? Truth. Truth is going to be coming to the surface pretty soon about the family. I keep see, seeing that as an ongoing card. But yeah, I definitely feel like some truth is coming to the light. There's going to be some more scandal within the next few days, weeks, maybe months. Just stay tuned. Of course, it's going to be in the uh, the playlist. I'll have the royalty and crumpets for y'all. But yeah, maintenance. And I also see liar at the bottom of the deck. So again, more lies, more secrets more covering up, more uh, PR work that needs to be done. I feel like, you know, right now um, it's lacking. They need maintenance. They need to tighten up. I really, really feel like I'm hearing from her. They need to tighten up. Like this is absolutely insane. Her patience is running very thin is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth, darling. Child, I'm about to hurry up, child, because I'm, I think that's why she's probably telling me that. She's like, bitch, my patience is running thin. What else do you want to know? Okay, yes. Okay, let's just pull this. Ah, uh, beauty, darling. Yes. So yeah, I feel like definitely um, this is regarding um, Catherine's beauty is what I'm hearing. Is why she can't be seen. Jealous. I told you, it's jealousy with those girls. It's very catty energy. Now, I really feel like Prince, Princess Catherine ain't innocent either, y'all. It's both of them is what I'm getting. It's, it's giving camps being treacherous or against other camps. It's giving stories being... It's giving that with these girls. It's so nasty. Ooh, a jealous spirit is what I'm hearing. 
Ooh, a jealous spirit. Both of them. It's oh god, it's so disgusting. She's just she's just like it's like the battle of the crown, you guys. It's like come on, we all know who who has the crown. That's just Catherine. Ain't, ain't no ain't no change in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but we gotta do better, cause child, we still don't know where Catherine at. Child, that's why I'm really trying to. Yeah, I'm a yeah jealous spirit. I'm gonna just take that one. Hmm, child, listen health at the bottom of the deck king charles princess catherine keep them in prayer spring let me tell you this is there a jubilee coming up or something going on in spring besides like easter what's coming down the pipeline for the royals tap in below and let me know but definitely spring as we are definitely now in spring equinox because today is march 20th 2024 so that's what's going on. Distracted is coming out as well. She feels like no one's paying attention. No one is focused. No one's crossing their T's and dotting their I's. Like no one's, mm -mm. I'm really feeling like they need to have like a second set of eyes is what she's telling me. Like I'm getting that. Next card, childhood, children, issues. Like someone's having issues. The children, the royal children is what I'm hearing. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Y'all see that? Straight from Queen Elizabeth. From the throne darling okay made a mistake kensington palace that's your ass that's uh, just no queen elizabeth gonna issue a spiritual ass whip it to your ass because listen made a big mistake like that is a i i like that's a double whammy is what i'm getting for you guys mm -mm. relationship material child prince william what's going on what's going on i also saw cultural differences megan is what i'm getting with the royal family that hit the floor. I see Capricorn. <sighs> Definitely giving me Princess Catherine energy. Princess Catherine, she's not satisfied. This is not how a queen operates right now. Like how y'all doing these fake photos and shit. This is not it. You, you see this? Not waiting. Queen Elizabeth is not fucking around with the fuck around. She is not waiting anymore. She's like, listen, y'all need to get this shit together. Can't make this shit up. A born leader. A natural born leader is what I'm hearing. Yes. You better step in your damn purpose. King Charles, Prince William, Prince Harry, Catherine, Princess of Wales, Fab Four, Megan, Duchess of Sussex. Y'all better get that shit together. Tighten that shit up. Duties. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I really feel like... Yeah, she's definitely obsessive about this duty stuff. I'm definitely getting this. How she's giving this to me, she's like, listen, I don't give a damn if you black, white, purple, duties. I don't care. Like, oh, Queen Camilla, da 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 da. She did this, she did that. Oh, all this that happened in the 90s, all this stuff with Princess Diana, we understand, y'all. But Queen Elizabeth is saying duties, okay? Like, she's not satisfied. This, it, it doesn't look good. The world is seeing this. It's just really bad for the monarchy. Mm, child, listen. She is turning around in her damn grave, child. Aquarius, who is the aqua in the bloodline? Who is, this is the age of Aquarius is what I'm hearing though. So there's going to be a lot of changes within the monarchy is what I'm getting. Mm. Yeah, trouble. There's some trouble in the damn palace. And it's also trouble in paradise, okay? Catherine and Will, child, listen. Last card. Thank you so much, Your Royal Highness, child. We gonna let you go. We know you got to do some things, child. And love on your groom, your man, Prince Philip. Child, maybe you can grab some tea with Princess Diana, child. I don't know. But we ain't gonna hold you too long. Last card. Incompatible. Yeah. Something in the... Is, I'm hearing water and oil don't mix. Gemini at the bottom of the deck. There's still this bad energy between Prince Harry and Prince William. They really got to work that shit out. This is like childhood. The, the children. When I tell you, y'all. But she's a praying grandmother. She praying for her babies, child. She praying for them. And she want everybody else to pray for her family too, y'all. Because again, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's real, what's fake. We know what damn, damn sure is fake. Is that hashtag fake Kate, bitch. I don't know who got her ass on payroll. How much she getting paid? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm just go ahead and submit my resume to the Kensington Palace. I'm going to go ahead and apply, child, because obviously they got short staff. But y'all, again, thumbs up if you, if you vibed. <laughs> I've chatted long enough. I'm going to sign off and I'll see you guys at the next Royal Session. Until the next time, 
birthday, royal and cute. Bye.